Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we can use matrices to solve equations. In the last video we talked about inverses and we talked about uh, and, and numerically if we multiply by 7, the opposite of multiplying by 7 is multiplying by 1 seventh. So 1 seventh was the inverse of multiplying by 7. So we'll just use that numerical example to get us started here to explain this. So here we have got if we have 7 times some number x and that equals 14. Now you probably already know the answer, but we'll uh, pretend we don't. So what you could do is get, uh, you could, what normally you would do is you would say x is equal to 14 divided by seven, and that would get you the answer obviously. But we're gonna do this a slightly different way. So here, we can't do it that way. So what we're gonna do is get rid of that seven on the left-hand side by multiplying by the inverse, or the opposite of multiplying by seven, which is, 1 seventh. So 1 seventh upon that, and then we've put that 1 seventh in front of the, the 7x on the left hand side. So on the right hand side, we're going to put that 1 seventh in front of the 14, and that's it. Okay, what happens to set 1 seventh times 7? It just becomes 1, and then that is just x, and then 1 seventh times 14 is just going to be 2. So x is equal to 2, which we knew. Okay, we would never do this numerically, but this is really is what is happening uh, over here. So here you've got your a, uh, a times x is equal to b, and what we wanted to get is get it x on its own. So what we could have done is moved move the a across and divided b divided by a. Unfortunately, you cannot do division by matrices, so that means you have to find another way. So this is why we have to use our inverse. So we do the inverse of a times a. And that on the left hand side, that will just become i times x, and then that becomes x. But on the right hand side, we've put uh, we've put our a to the minus one in front on the left hand side, so you must do the same thing. So a to the minus one goes in front on the right hand side, so it's a to the minus one times b. Uh, so then your x just works out to be a to the minus one times b. <coughs> okay, we're going to look at this example. It says if I uh, a uh, is equal to minus, uh, minus a is equal to minus two seven three and minus four and b is equal to two five four and three. Find x if a x equals b. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is find my inverse of a. So I'm going to say first of all that my determinant of a equals minus two times minus four and minus three times seven. So I'll show all my steps here. Minus two times minus four is going to be eight. 3 times 7 is minus 21. 21 minus 8 would be minus would be 13. So 8 minus 21 would be minus 13. And then we can say my inverse of a is equal to, I'll write that as minus 1 over 13 times uh, minus 4, minus 7, minus 3, and minus 2. So just to remind you how we did that, we swapped our elements in our lead diagonal. We change the sign of the other two elements. Okay, uh, next thing we want to do then, I'll just write out the equation that we had above. We had ax equals b, and that means a to the minus 1 times a times x is equal to a to the minus 1 times b, which means i times x is equal to a to the minus 1 times b, which means x is equal to a to the minus 1 times b. So we will go over here and do that. So a is equal to minus 1 over 13. Sorry, x is equal to minus 1 over 13 times minus 4, minus 7, minus 3, minus 2. And your b, what was your b? Your b was 2, 5, 4, and 3. So this is minus 1 over 13. And we'll go through this, how we do this. Good go over these things every now and again. You've got, uh, this is my element, my first row, first column. So multiply my first row by my first column. So that means minus 4 times 2 and minus 7 times 4. And if you do that, you're going to get minus 36. Again, you can do that in your calculator. This is my first row, second column. So first row times the second column. So that's minus 4 times 5 and minus 7 times 3, uh, which is going to be uh, minus 41. And then this is my second row first column so it's going to be minus three times two and minus two 
times 4, which is going to be, uh, sorry, minus 14. And the last element is going to be our second row, second column. So second row times the second column, minus 3 times 5, minus 15, minus 2 times 3, minus 6. So that's going to be minus 21. Now, quite often in these questions, uh, say everything here had say everything here had been divisible by 13. You could have multiplied in by the, the minus 1 over 13. It would have made it look much nicer. But in this one, it's not going to make it look any nicer. I would just leave it as it is. Okay, you're now ready to do exercise 11G, the odds. Have a go at those, and if there are any problems, give us a shout. Thank you.